Hey guys, thank you for stopping in today. I have a little bit different of a review for you. Now, usually in a normal review, I'm going to highlight a new company, or I'm going to show you an update from an existing company that we've already covered. But today is a favorites video, and that is on Fresh Beards. Now, I've covered Fresh Beards in the past, I believe, several times. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I get asked about them relentlessly. Dan, what are your favorite scents? What do you think about their butter? What about their oil? What about their wash? So I wanted a new, a more recent video that's a one-stop shop that I can send to all those people and maybe bring in some new people as well because Fresh Beards has been crushing it. They've been around for years and years and years. They have a beautiful storefront location, I think multiple ones actually. Actually. And the way that I found out about Fresh Beards was from watching Scuba, right? Scuba used this company all the time. He said high praise about them. I gave him a shot and have been using them really ever since, uh, not only on my beard, but also on my body. And my wife uses their butters as well. Speaking of her, I'm going to bring Sam in. We're going to go over our favorite scents from this company, kind of give you the take and thoughts and ideas on them. And I'm going to talk about all of these products I have right here. Now for price, I do not have a discount code. I do not have an affiliate code. There's no commission, nothing like that. But this company has very competitive prices. Stuff listed on the website is right at that market average, but they run great deals. Every month they do a BOGO where I believe it is buy a full price four ounce butter and get a one ounce oil for free. Now other deals that I saw on the website, one that stuck out to me was two oils and a butter for $35. I believe it's on sale right now. Now the market average for an oil is about $15 for an ounce. So you're telling me two of these equals 30. You're only paying five bucks for a four ounce butter. That is fantastic. So the way that the BOGO works, I don't know if I just mentioned this, sometimes I get talking too fast. They highlight a different scent every month and then that one goes on BOGO. So if it's the month and you don't like that scent, maybe wait till next month and you can try it out or just explore their other deals and options that they have. So let's talk about these products real quick, then we'll get into the scents, and then we'll come back for a conclusion. Now let me read you the ingredients on their oils, because this is pretty unique here, and I believe we have it right here. Let me find it for you guys. So the ingredients that we have here, shea olein. Now essentially that is shea butter, but removing the long chain fatty acids. It's a liquid shea. Now this is something my beard really enjoys. I've never heard anything bad about it, but sometimes that name kind of freaks people out. And then other than that, we have in here golden jojoba, coconut oil, and we have uh, the fragrance oils. Now their butters, I'm going to show you guys what their butter looks like and everything in just a second here. And their oil is a straight up medium viscosity. It's not thick. It's not thin. It's right in the middle. Now the ingredients for these butters here. Let's go ahead and see. I know I was just looking at this. This always happens. I go to find it and, and I lose it. Here it is. Uh, we have shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, and fragrance oil. So a lot of very common carriers in there, but tried, true, and loved uh, with that beard butter. All right. Let's take a look at the butter. So the butter, this is a brand new one for me. I'm going to talk about it with Sam in a second. I've had these butters for years and have gone through several of them, which is pretty rare for me to finish a product. Now they're buttered. The characteristics that I would describe with this the most is very light and very smooth. It is not, I mean, it is extremely light, you guys. There is absolutely no grit. There's absolutely no body to it. Uh, for me, I, and if you guys have been watching videos, you can probably follow along with that. I value a light butter. I don't want to pull hairs out of my beard when putting in butter. A lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. When you get that sticky, that tacky butter, and uh, you're just pulling those hairs out too early. This butter breaks down so nice, so light, and just makes my beard feel fresh. Now, you're not going to get a lot of holder styling, something to consider. They do have a balm for that. I'm not a balm guy, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. But if you are looking for some hold, check out their balm. Don't go with the butter. Now, some other things here. Uh, they have a great beard wash. This is a shea-based wash, I believe, if I remember correctly here. Um, as it goes through, yes, and it has some awesome ingredients in it. You want to make sure you try this one because it's a gentle daily wash. It's not going to really strip or break down your beard. So this one's a good one if you live in a hot climate and you're sweating a lot. Or if you work out and get dirty and sweaty a lot, this would be a really good option for you. All right? Cover the butter, cover the oil, cover the prices. Check in with Sam. We'll come back for a conclusion and hopefully hear from you guys at the end.
Okay, today I brought her in, Sam C. Hi. And we're gonna go over some of my favorite scents from Fresh Beards. Now, one thing that stands out to me with Fresh Beards is I think they have one of the coolest logos. Yeah. And always have, I just, I'm kind of with Sam here. I know she's the same way. We both like simple and yeah. not something crazy. And this does it. This is one of their decals. It's very similar to ours. I was just going to say, yeah, I was just going to yeah, say, I, like I yeah, right. I think it's one of the best one out there other than our decal and our <laughs> logos. But it's, it's interesting because obviously, I, if you guys don't know, Sam created our logo just mm -hmm. from a picture of me in our bedroom. Yeah, and it's the actual he, his logo yeah. is an actual picture of him. Mine is an actual picture yeah. of me. Yeah, and like she did it all herself. She was like, stand here, let's do this. No, turn your head around, no, this. And took the picture and it turned out. So I think that's pretty cool. And I don't know if a lot of people know that. Yeah. That was from an actual picture. So that was her back in the day, like three years ago now. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool. All right, so we're going to go over five different scents today. We want to get your thoughts on them, what you think they smell like. We've actually covered all of these, I believe, mm -hmm. on a prior review. Okay. But these are the favorites of mine. And I want to kind of see where they fall with Sam C. All right, so the first one is black light. I'll hand this to you so okay. I don't uh, pop you in the nose. Because then that <laughs> smell stays all day. Ooh, that's good. All right. It's like a barbershop cologne. Ooh, okay. That's what I get. Yeah, it's definitely, so first and foremost for me is it's a cologne, right? I'm like, mm -hmm. this is a manly cologne. And I do, I kind of get some of that, that. Now, how would you, if they're like, okay, I'm thinking barbershop, what do you mean by that? Like the talc. Okay. Soft talc. Cologne. See, I don't think 100% when you smell it that it's like masculine. I think it's a soft cologne. I agree. I agree. It's nice. Uh, to me, it's kind of like a daily wear cologne. Yeah. Um, I have this in beard butter as well. A lot of uh, colognes aren't going to be great for me in beard butter because mm -hmm. I like the beard butter at night. But this is one that I could genuinely wear to bed and I think I would be all right. What about, do you mind cologne at bedtime? I or? don't like it. I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not a fan of that. Usually if I wear it, she'll say something about it. Uh, so if for, I don't say anything, you're in the clear. Right, right, right. Yeah, she's not giving me positives on it. Jeez. <laughs> look at this girl. So for me, though, that is a lighter one that I wear. But I know a lot of guys do like uh, colognes for their beard butter. Just doesn't fit us exactly. All right, next one is Voodoo. Voodoo. Again, I'll hand it to you here. And this one is another cologne, oh. but a different kind of cologne. So this is, for me, it's... Cheers. It's a very sharp, I feel like. It's Has that bite? Yeah, it's strong, it bites, and it's soapy. Okay. But it is a good smelling cologne. So, yeah, I agree. First and foremost, I get soapy. It, yeah. it is definitely that soapy end of the colognes. I love a soapy cologne. You do. You love soapy anything. anything. <laughs> if it's if it's got soapy <laughs> smell Laundry to it, detergent. everything, shampoo, <laughs> conditioner. Yeah, it's really nice. It's soapy. Like she said, it does have that musky, like, kind of punch that yeah. you look for in a cologne. Uh, so that one's a good one. If we are going on a date. Uh, which we just had an awesome date mm -hmm. date day. Which one would you pick if we were going today? I think the first one. Okay. All right. I think Black the light. second one, it's good, but it's a little, I want to see it toned down a little okay. bit. Okay. Interesting. You know I mean? For us. Yeah. All right. The next one is the freak. freak. She's a freak. Okay. Yeah. I don't got anything I don't, else on there. Yeah. What's that it was song? A different song. <laughs> yeah. Freak. <laughs> but I, I ad libbed. I went with my own. Though. It did sound it. Everyone else was buying it. Ooh. Citrus. Citrus. That's it. Yep. It's a straight up citrus scent. Now I get lime. I get lemon. Those are the first two notes I get. What about you? Citrus. Just citrus in general. <laughs> yeah. So this one we've had for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I think I did, I may have done two videos on them and I had tried them before I did videos and we have butters. Sam always attacks my feet. Like I get, she calls them crusties. <laughs> so I get like calluses on my feet cause I'm, I'm a working man. I'm on my feet a lot. And uh, she always like tries to scrub them off. And then she's like, you got to put a butter on afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it's always been the freak butter. Yeah. I don't know why, but that's For the every time, single that's time. Used. Yep. And then but we ran listen, out, I think. Listen. But I got a new one. The reason that we do this, the man's crusties. Uh-oh, here it goes. Tear holes into our <laughs> sheets. I've literally gone through sheets. He scratches his own feet. He scratches cut other people with these. Yeah. 
I don't know, guys. It's it's wild. Yeah, I've cut myself open to like the point of legit bleeding because of my crusties on my feet. So she comes in and saves the day. Uh, so yeah, we we were using that on my feet forever. Then we mm -hmm. ran out, and then we went to I believe this one actually. We we stayed with Fresh Beards because yeah. it was working, and we went to uh, the Beach Blend. It's exactly what we went to actually. So we've had uh, I've had Fresh Beards on my feet for a while now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that in a review. All right. I really like this one. It just reminds, it's a good tropical scent. It makes you think about Hawaii or something like that. I was just like going to say, does this make you think about Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Hawaiian one. Uh, so we're going on Disney, right, just a couple mm -hmm. of weeks after this video drops. Super excited. Uh, you don't like to, Sam does, but I don't like to look too far I ahead. Do. She's always on <laughs> to the next one. We're literally planning like yeah. three years down the road, like, oh, we should go to Japan. She, she, <laughs> yeah, that's her. I'm like, let's enjoy the moment. Let's love this. But our next dream is Hawaii. Yeah. So that's what we kind of want to go towards. Saving up our hotel yeah, points. Yeah, we've saved our Marriott points for like two years now. And we might be able to cover a Marriott vacation just from saving up points. Let us know if you want a discount. Yeah, if you guys got a if you want to start a Marriott card, we talked about doing a whole video on it because it's been such a game changer for it us. Is, but yeah, truly. Not, no scam, nothing there. It's just truly we may get a Disney vacation because no, of it. Hawaii. Hawaii vacation. No Disney they do have Marriott's at Disney, but Sam likes to stay in the park, mm -hmm. so that one's out. And then, yeah, so Hawaii, we may get <laughs> hotels covered in. All right, and our last one is 1920. 1920. Okay. This was the year your grandmother was born. That's not true. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> she would be 100, 101 years old if that was true. <laughs> You say things with such like confidence. I, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, this shoot, is, yeah, was she? Is she? No, <laughs> no. Shout out to the hundred one year olds out there. If anybody's watching, is this okay? Is this a barbershop? It is straight up barbershop. I like it. Yep. I was like thinking maybe I was confused. Was right, because we I was talked like, about is it. This barbershop or no? So very, I like it. yeah, very different. The, yeah. They're not. They're not similar. This is a straight up talcum powder scent. Yeah. It's it's that fresh hot shave that you get, and they put the the shaving cream on your neck and right hot towel. That's exactly what shaving it, cream on your neck to like line up your neck. You know how you take like the zero gap and oh, you do my neck. A lot of people do, do that when you get like a, a haircut Oh wait, haircut, beard trim, everything. Oh, okay. So like in the back, they would put it's the like, whole shebang. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They would, even if you're just going for a haircut, they would put the shaving cream back there, give you a straight razor, go through. It's like part of the experience. They put a hot towel over your face. It's like a whole thing. Mm. Yeah. I'm not, I don't like spending money, so I don't go to the barbershop, but it sounds like a, it sounds like a good experience to me, right? Relaxing. So yeah, this is a I like that. traditional barbershop. That is a good nighttime scent. Okay. In All right. Yeah. You've always liked barbershops, barbershops for nighttime. At night. I like citrus scents for nighttime. Hmm. So if I were to go to bed, I would, if I were to go to bed, when, <laughs> when I go to bed, I would go with Freak here. So all situation. Clearly, this is a favorites video, a company we've covered before, and they have sense. I'm sure we dislike, but these are our favorites, my favorites. But my favorites kind of blend with Sam's. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna pick something that she hates, obviously. Yeah. Uh, like recently, I wore beard butter to bed, and she goes, it "Smells like pizza." I was like, it, "What? Was the that heck? last night?" Yeah, I'm like, I "What feel, the heck?" I feel it smells like, like you pizza. Thought that I was like asleep and yeah. dreaming about pizza. Right. It woke me up out of a yeah. dead sleep. I was not like. Pizza? Not from this company. Pizza? Not from this company. No pizza <laughs> sense here. And it didn't smell like pizza. So normally at the end, we go through like our favorites, but I, I don't think you can really pick a favorite because it's just situational. Okay, let me pick a favorite. Okay, if you had to only keep one, I have to give four of these away. Which okay. one are you going with? For me, I'm keeping Freak. I'm keeping the Citrus. Okay, for me, like an everyday wear? You only get to keep one. It, <gasps> it's your call. Okay. I think that I would pick the barbershop wow. one because it's soft enough for every day. And that's not some a scent that I would get tired of. Like yeah. I would get tired of the soapy cologne. I would get tired of the citrus. If I had to wear it every day. Every day, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So there you have it, guys. Some really good options. Uh, they have them in the, the butters as well. Sam C., thank you for breaking it down for us. You're welcome. Quick wrap up right here. A lot of you guys have tried this company, tried several products, different scents. What would be your feedback for somebody that is considering trying this company or trying them again? 
Please be honest, did you love it? Was it not for you? Do you like one scent over the other? Are you a butter guy, but not so much on something else? I would love to hear all angles of your experience, and more importantly, guys that are thinking about spending their hard-earned money would love to hear from you guys as well as me. I did my part, now let's hear from you. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.